way of genuinely involving young people and families in local decision making and the designing of services and support? What if we had a way of truly basing commissioning and strategic change on the real lived experiences of young people and families? We do and it's called working together for change. But why does it matter anyway? We know that transition does not work for young people and families. The special educational needs and disability reforms are designed to help and Pathfinders and Preparing for Adulthood have been looking at how to change this. Preparing for Adulthood have five key messages to improve transition. One of these messages in particular says we should develop outcome focused multi-agency commissioning strategies that are informed by the voice of young people and families. However, what does this actually mean and how could we do it when we figured out what we need to do? Meet Melanie. She is a newly appointed commissioner for a local authority in the North West supporting young people over the age of 16. She knows that she needs to commission in a way that involves young people and families. Her commissioning strategy needs to inform the local offer and she needs to help providers really know and understand what young people want in the future. How can she do this? She reads about working together for change in the Preparing for Adulthood book and contacts Charlotte for more information. Many people use questionnaires or focus groups to learn what people want. These often don't work well for disabled children and young people. Charlotte explains how working together for change is like being asked to plan and organise a party. Decide who comes, what food is offered, what entertainment and music is provided, not just to provide an opinion on the quality of the nibbles or submit a playlist for approval, but to shape the whole event. In working together for change, we learn from each child or young person about what is working, not working and what is important in the future, gathering this information from their person-centred review or education, health and care plan. Melanie decided to start with one school and build from there. Robert, the head teacher, explained that the school had already been using person-centred reviews so it was easy to get the information from each year 9, year 10 and year 11 student about what was working, not working and what the young people wanted in the future. For Ivan, what was working was the after school karate club. What was not working was his brother speaking up for him when he could do that himself. In the future, he wanted a Saturday job and to earn his own money. For Lucy, what was working was walking to school independently with her friend Alice. What was not working was people being noisy and disruptive in class. And in the future, she wanted a bus pass to go into town shopping by herself and to do a cookery course at college. Melanie asked Charlotte to facilitate the two-day process and they invited families, the school council, teachers, local authority team members, college staff, employment agency workers and local community leaders. 
At the end of the first day, they'd looked at what every child in the three school years had said was working, not working and important in the future and had clustered these and named them together. In the working cluster they had, for example, I have interests and hobbies. I have good friends. I'm learning to be more independent. In not working, they had, my voice is not heard. My classroom isn't the best place to learn. I don't see my friends outside of school. In the important to the future group, I want a paid job. I want to travel independently. At the end of day two, they had looked at the root causes of why things were not working, thought about what success would look like for the young people, family, school and commissioners, and Melanie had lots of information, ideas and specific recommendations to include in her commissioning strategy. Robert, the head teacher, was delighted as well. He had all the information he needed for his school development plan, developed directly with young people and families. For Ivan, the actions that the school and commissioner were taking made it more likely that what he wanted in the future, a paid job, would happen as the commissioner was going to commission a Saturday jobs fair and a supported internships project and the school were launching a skills for jobs course. For Lucy, the actions that the school were taking helped to change what was not working for her by making changes to how they structure the classes and to work with college to provide the cookery training that she wants in the future. Now Melanie had learned from children in one school, she wanted to support all of the local schools to use Working Together for Change, so that she could hear from every child in years 9, 10 and 11 to inform her commissioning strategy.